Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Makesh's Tech Space. First of all, i um, like to make sure everyone is safe. Hopefully you guys are staying safe, staying inside, and taking all the precautionary uh, measures to stay healthy. Um, in this week's tutorial and video, we're going to go back to AWS LightSell for Beginners. Uh, in my previous AWS LightSell for Beginners um, video, which where we set up the Plex hosting, uh, I mentioned that uh, even though Plex can do mail server hosting, you can create email, uh, email addresses and, and use Plex to deliver your emails. I don't uh, like that or recommend that, mostly because uh, it takes a lot to configure and um, uh, secure a mail server, at least in my opinion. Uh, if you guys are mail server experts, then you will obviously uh, uh, have a different opinion about that but uh, since I you know the main purpose we want is to get things up and running quickly uh, we are as beginners um, I think it's probably not a good idea to run a mail service on your server unless you know exactly what you're doing um, as an alternative there are plenty of services out there that can provide you a mailbox for your domain and uh, you can use it uh, one of those we're going to take a look at today which is the Soho mail service uh, there are others like GoDaddy, um, Office 365, uh, the Google G Suite, uh, many of those um, have a rich, rich feature set. Uh, many of those are not free, um, however, they're reasonably priced. Um, however, uh, Zoho uh, has a free option and I'll show you how to set up your own custom domain mail service on Zoho in this video. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to get started and follow this tutorial, you'll need a couple of things. One is you'll need a domain name, your own domain name that you have control over. If you already have one, then that's great. We'll, we can use that. If you don't have one, then couple of places that I like to use to register my own domain names. One is name.com. The second is Google Domains. Both of them um, are reasonably priced and uh, have a great feature set. Um, the second thing that you'll need is, um, is, the, uh, is a DNS hosting capability. So typically when you register a domain name, especially with like places like name.com or Google domains, they'll let you create DNS records, host the DNS zone records. So you want to make sure that if you don't use name.com or if you don't use Google domains, or if you already have an existing domain with services like, uh, let's say GoDaddy or network solutions that you're able to host DNS records. In this video, I'll, sh I'll be doing a lot, all the modifications in LightSail. So if you prefer to use that, then you can set it up, uh, set up the name server to point to AWS. Um, but once you have those couple of things, we can get started setting up our um, mail server. So head on over to zoho.com and you'll land to a page um, similar to this. Uh, go ahead and scroll down and click on mail. And once you click on mail, you'll want to pick business email and go ahead and sign up for free and you'll get, you know, pricing options. Um, although any of these options are really, really reasonably priced, especially for a custom domain email. Um, you could go with something like a mail light or a mail premium, but for our video tutorial, we're going to go with the free option, the forever free plan. So go ahead and click sign up now. And this is where you'll provide the domain name. In our tutorial here, I'll be using my own domain name to walk you through it. And then second screen here will ask for registration details. So go ahead and uh, create an account here, register, provide your name, uh, a mobile number for confirmation and passwords and, and, and a contact email uh, that, that they'll use to verify and send you confirmations for. So go ahead and sign this up. And once you do, you'll get to the setup screen, which we'll go to next. Okay, so once you've set up your account and verified your phone number and you're set up your two-factor authentication and all that good stuff, 
you should be taken to this screen right here where we're going to walk through several steps of setting up the domain with mail support from Zoho. So the first thing here is to verify that we actually own the domain. So that is uh, the first step. We will pick, um, again, this is um, uh, a list of services that Zoho provides um, instructions for. Um, so if you've registered your domain with GoDaddy, one on one and one Enom, or any one of these, you can uh, select them. Uh, one of the ones that here is listed is my favorite, whenaim.com. And what it does is it gives you instructions on how to set up the verification. There are three options. I pick the first one. It's the most simplest uh, uh, route. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. Um, uh, as I mentioned, I am setting this up with uh, AWS LightCell. So I'm not going to use name.com. I'm actually just going to go to others uh, and follow the instructions here. So let's go ahead and open up AWS LightCell. All right, so I have my DNS management uh, open in AWS LightCell. So the first thing is, um, as we talked about, uh, setting up a verification of that we own the domain name. So the best method here, I think, is TXT method, uh, creating a text record. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy this piece right here. Head on over to our DNS management, add a record. Pick TXT record from the drop down and go ahead and paste the value in and commit that change. Um, majority of the interfaces, uh, DNS management interfaces, will be similar. You'll have to pick the type of record. Then they have the um, what they call is the subdomain side or the name side. And then they have the value side, um, and that's where you would paste uh, what we just pasted, uh, which is the value right here. Um, so they all they would all be similar. <clears throat> so once you do that, um, it take a couple of minutes, but you should be able to click on verify. And if if it all went good. It'll say, congratulations, your domain now has been verified. So now we'll go to the next step of adding users. In our case, I put admin at mukesh.me as my administrative uh, account, my original account. Um, on the free plan, I think you can create up to five users. Um, so uh, you can create additional users if you want for, let's say, if you have a website, you can have one for a contact us email or a you have an e-commerce site it could be sales marketing anything you want you can create up to five and this is the opportunity for you to set up those i'm going to leave it at um, uh, admin at mukesh.me for here go ahead and create the account and we will i won't be adding any users here but if you need to go ahead and this is your opportunity if you don't add any here you can always do that once you've set everything up and go into the administration panel for the for Zoho Mail. You'll be able to set up additional users at a later time as well. So I'm going to hit skip. Groups, uh, it's another feature of Zoho Mail. You can have groups uh, that basically represent a team or a group of people or a common in a mailbox for um, <clears throat> for any kind of purpose. The example they give in here is HR at Mukesh.me. So if we have one for HR, skip to that next step, which is now the, the heart of our setup, which is configuring email um, delivery. Um, and this is also done in the DNS management. And you'll need to create these three MX records. MX stands for mail exchange records. These are the entries that basically allow your domain to receive emails um, uh, other email servers know where to send your e their email to when they're sending an email to your address so to set up the MX records we'll go back to our DNS management the first one we need to copy is mx.zoho.com um, just remember there's a priority of 10 and the host name is at so we'll create a new record MX Hostname is at, priority is 10, and we'll paste the first value. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the second entry. And we'll 
we'll paste a second value, commit that. And then the final one is mx3.zoho.com. So pretty simple. And we'll hit MX. Oh, no, it was not 30. I believe it was 50. Yes. And paste. Commit that. So all three of our MX records have been set up and committed uh, onto our DNS uh, zone record. So let's see, uh, keep in mind um, right here, it says you must remove um, or you know delete any other MX records. So if you already have uh, had MX records from maybe a, a past email service or even a current email service, then you'll have to delete those. You can't have MX records from two different services. So if we're using Zoho, you have to remove the other ones. Um, then once you have done that, uh, again, give it a few minutes to um, propagate and you can hit MX lookup. And basically this is going to verify that it can find those records on your domain. And it can, so we're ready to go to the next step. This next step um, is also very important uh, because it will help um, uh, in a couple of different fronts. Um, the first entry that we need to make uh, in the setup of a mail service is what we call an SPF record. It's a sender policy framework. Without this, someone can actually take your email address, send an email as if it was coming from you, um, even though it, you did not send it. So to prevent that, what we would need to do is add this SPF record. What it basically does is creates an entry on your domain and says, hey, only this server is allowed to send emails on your behalf, on your domain name's behalf. So what we will want to add is an SPF record that says Zoho is allowed, Zoho.com is allowed to send email on behalf of Mukesh.me. So this is a good production to add um, and we should all add this. To set it up, basically we will take um, the value right here. and go back to our DNS management interface, add a record. This will be a TXT record, put an at sign, and then add this. Go ahead and commit that change. Then the next security feature for a mail service is a DKIM record. Uh, DKIM stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail. And basically this is sort of a signature for your domain. Um, and this will ensure your email will be delivered to the inbox. The receiving email service will not automatically just categorize your email as spam or junk and send it to the junk folder or spam folder. So if you have this record, then those receiving email servers know that this is a, an authenticated piece of email. Uh, and it has a DKIM, D D K I M signature. So it's also important to set up. So let's go ahead and proceed to go ahead and do that. What you'll notice is there's your domain name and there's a couple of actions. Now this uh, um, bullet here indicates whether the DKIM record has been set up successfully and enabled or if not. So we'll go ahead and hit edit. Add a selector, we'll use Zoho as our selector. Perfect. And once you have typed in the selector, it will set up a value and the host name. Host name is, you'll notice here, is zoho dot underscore domain key dot mukesh dot me. So your domain. And the value is a pretty long string so you'll want to make sure you copy all of it copy go to your dns management add a record and we will be adding a txt record now on here it's already um, uh, the the dns management here is already putting in dot mukesh dot me so all we would need to put from this screen here is zoho dot underscore domain key so zoho dot underscore domain key and the dot is already there and then the value that we copied we'll paste that and commit this change 
and we'll come back here and let's see if it's working so we're unable to verify so uh, usually give it a, some time if it's not immediate then it may take uh, maybe a few minutes to maybe up to an hour for for the verification to complete so maybe after an hour come back here and hit verify and see if it worked okay so i did hit the verify button and it's gone that means looks like it was able to verify that we have set that up correctly we can go back to the domain list and you'll notice if it's if it's good then it's green light dkim is enabled so we're good to go go ahead and go back to setup then proceed to the next step is migration actually let me go back um, let's go back to this step okay so email migration in my scenario here and in, in the example i'm giving i did not have an existing email service so i have nothing to migrate but if you are moving uh, your email service from something else to Zoho following this tutorial, then likely you may want to uh, bring over all the previous emails that you've received or emails that you've sent using the, the previous service. So there are instructions here. We won't walk through it, but um, Zoho does provide instructions on how to fetch your old email records and, and add them to your new email service. For us here, we'll continue to go to the next step. And finally, this screen just talks to you about the ways you can access your email. You can use the Zoho Mail Admin app to administer your domain email uh, account. You have Zoho Mail as a, a uh, app that you can download on your iPhone or Android device, or you can access it through the web. So we're all complete. Now, if we click on go to Zoho Workplace, it's going to do a little introduction and we'll kick, click on mail. It's going to load my initial email address that I created, which was admin at Mukesh.me. Again, just a, an introduction introduction there. I'll skip that. Here we go. So this is your email box. Looks pretty similar as any other uh, email service on the web. The mobile is probably just as uh, good if you want to use that. I won't show that here. Just to test everything out, make sure that you're able to send an email and receive an email. We're going to try that here. So let's go ahead and send a, an email and uh, it's going to go from admin at mukesh.me and we'll send it to one of my email addresses let's try our gmail email address and we'll put testing zoho setup testing zoho setup so go ahead and hit send all right i am going to check my gmail i'm not going to show that on the screen but Take my word for it if I did receive the email. And I did, I have the email testing Zoho setup. What I'll do is from my Gmail address, I'll hit reply and we'll see that it will show up in our inbox here. So just quickly testing received and I'll go ahead and send that. Now, if we check our new inbox here, uh, there's two emails already here, uh, which are basically welcome emails from Zoho. But if it increases to three, that means that we uh, our reply worked. And there we go. It increased to three. Click on that. And my reply worked, which is testing received. And once you've done this test, you can rest assured that all of your uh, configuration is set up and working correctly. So with that, I think this will be uh, the end of the video. If you have any questions or concerns, just comment those below. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, share it, forward it uh, you know, um, to your friends and your other colleagues that may need the same kind of uh, setup. So thanks again, and until next time, take care.